Rub up your engines! Today, by popular demand, I'm going to talk about three luxury cars that you should buy used. And yeah, normally I talk about five vehicles, but hey, I can only think of three good luxury ones to buy. Because most luxury cars, hey, as they get old, they have problems and they're very expensive to maintain. Now, true luxury cars, if they follow their actual name, they're expensive to buy because they're luxury cars. So, if you can get a good used one, you can save a ton of money. For example, my wife's Lexus ES300, it was $32,000 when brand new. But Scotty's cheap and smart, I only paid $3,000 for it when it was used. Yeah, it was 12 years old, but it only had 60,000 miles on it. And with that low mileage and the many years I've owned it, the only things I put on are brake pads and change the engine oil and filter and the air filter a few times. But there's many used luxury cars out there that if you would have bought, you would have paid three, four times that in three or four years just repairing the stupid thing. Now the first used luxury sedan that I suggest buying is the 2016 Acura. Either the RLX or the TLX. They're both excellent vehicles. Now, as usual, I'm never a fan of all-wheel drive vehicles. They add complexity in the Acura line. The ones that have the all-wheel drive automatic transmissions have had histories of problems with those transmissions when they're hooked up to an all-wheel drive system. So I'd say stick to the two-wheel drive systems myself. Let's take the RLX. It's a true luxury car. It's got 310 horsepower, a really smooth ride, responsive steering, and comfortable seating for five. It gets about average fuel economy, but it's a luxury sedan. You don't buy a luxury sedan for fantastic gas mods. That's just not part of the package in any real luxury sedan. And of course, if you're into technology for a luxury car, it's got all the things you want. Navigation system, moonroof, push button, start, all kinds of electronic controls you can mess around with to your heart's content. And being a Honda product, come on now, Acura are just fancy Hondas. It's reliable, so you get a lot of fancy stuff on it, but it tends to work for a long time before it breaks down, if it ever does break down. Now, years ago, Cadillacs were seen as a big luxury sedan in the 50s and 60s. My grandfather was a mechanic then, and he loved them. But the modern Cadillacs, to compare them to the Acura, hey, the electronics on those things are breaking down all the time. I've seen the dash modules go out on them. They're nowhere near as reliable as these Acuras are. Yeah, the Cadillac is a lot cheaper to buy used than the Acura, but there's a lot of reasons for that, because the Cadillac made a lot cheaper and has a lot more problems. Say you can't find an RLX, but you can find a 2016 or so TLX. Those are excellent cars too. They're not quite as luxurious. They got a little bit less horsepower, but they're still excellent luxury vehicles. The regular model has 280 horsepower, and if you get a Sport Tuned S model, it's got 305 horsepower, and that's a lot of horsepower. And the TLs, hey, they're reliable vehicles. The only recall I've ever seen on those things is that Takata airbag recall that all these people that use millions of them, Takata airbags, those are recalled. There, eh, you get that done, it doesn't cost you anything. They got to replace it for free anyway. Now, my next used car that you might want to buy as a luxury sedan might surprise people. I'm talking about the 2003 to 2011 Lincoln Town Car. Now, people might poo poo this, but for an old man car, hey. It's comfy, and they're relatively reliable vehicles. Those Ford V8 engines, you change the oil on them and don't overheat them, they can run forever. And for a vehicle of that size, they get decent gas mileage, just like the Acura, hey. But on a highway, they get decent gas mileage. And a lot of people poo-poo them because they say, oh, they have a soft suspension. Well, if it's an old man car, a lot of the old men want soft suspensions. You know, you can ride around those things on a highway all day long. You're not going to get worn out. On a highway, I've seen customers get 24 miles a gallon in those things. So, you know, they're not that bad for driving around cross country. The Lincoln Town Cars have one big advantage. They made a bunch of them, and you can often get them relatively cheap. You're never going to find a relatively cheap Acura. You're always going to pay pretty top dollar for that unless it's really old or has 250,000 miles on it. But there's tons of these town cars around and you can usually get a pretty good deal if you look around. Now, 
as I said in previous videos, you can get used Mercedes real cheap too. But <laughs> those things, they will bankrupt you, even if you don't drive that many miles. Where the town car, nah, they're not that bad to fix. They're just Fords. And of course, there's a lot of guys around who know how to fix them. The repairs on those are generally much cheaper than imported luxury cars. And really, the main thing in spending money on a luxury car is the engine and the transmission. And the Lincoln Town cars have an excellent reliability rating for the engines and the transmissions, the major parts. Now, the third luxury sedan that I advise people to buy is the Lexus ES or GS, which might surprise some people because I'm not a fan of their V8 engines. They're extremely complex, hard to fix, and they do have a tendency to break down as they get really high mileage with the V8 engines. And guess what? Even today, all the Lexus luxury sedans, they're still made in Japan. They're not making them anyplace else. So you're getting true Japanese quality. You're not getting something like a Mercedes Benz, but you know, it's made somewhere else in Germany and not made by Germans. You're getting the real thing with a Lexus. Now the V6 engines in these Lexuses, they can run forever. I've had customers be driving them with 500,000 miles, original engine, original tranny, and you get in them and they still run like a dream. They have a combination of really good handling and a really nice ride. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, well, some of these cars, they handle a lot better than those. Yeah, but when you compare how they handle and how they ride, you're not gonna find a better comparison for something that's in that price range. Some of them now do have a V8 engine, but like I say, I am not a fan of the V8s. If you want power, go ahead. It's still, you know, a really well-built vehicle, but as they age, the V8s are probably five times more expensive to repair than the six-cylinder Lexuses are. So if you're gonna buy a used one, my advice, go six-cylinder. Because yes, I had customers that didn't listen to me and said, oh, I like the body style of the V8 one better and bought them. Ha, it bit them in the rear end later on when they found out, oh, they had to replace the catalytic converters, all three of them, and that was gonna cost them three grand. And then the, when the starter went out, you had to pull the intake manifold off the V8 engine to change the starter. Stick to the sixes. They got plenty enough power to get you around. They ride like a dream, and they get quite a bit better gas mileage than the 8s do. I mean, the best gas mileage I ever got is like 25, 26 miles a gallon going 65 miles on a highway. These Lexuses are luxurious inside, and yes, they do hold up over time. Look at the inside of my wife's car. This car is a 17-year-old car now. Look at it. The wood's still shining. The leather seats are immaculate. Now, I do have aftermarket mats, I have to say. I like them better. But there's tons of room, front and back. Yeah, and they even have air conditioning and heating vents going into the back seat. It's a true luxury car. The Lexus ES sedan has been their biggest seller. Now, this is an old 2002 ES 300. The ES 350, the newer version, hey, it lasts just as well. Very luxurious car. Of course, it has a lot more electronic stuff than the old one had in it but that's a great used luxury car to buy. So now you know, if you're going to buy a luxury sedan, there's three choices, three relatively different choices, but three good choices that you can buy used and still drive for quite some time before they start having serious problems like most other luxury cars will. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.